Okay, this is chapter nine, video two, and here we're looking at the surface area of pyramids. So after this section, you should be able to find the surface area of any pyramid, okay? It goes with section 9.2 in your book. I have my notes filled in, so pause if you need to kind of catch up, but I'll go through what I have here. So a pyramid, you can picture pyramids like Egyptian pyramids, right? Kind of hard to define, but it has a base shape, a certain shape, a certain polygon on the base, and then all of those have uh, triangular sides that kind of go up to a point, which we call the vertex. You can see the vertex here, right at the very tip, okay? So it could have all different base shapes. So here we have a triangle base, and then sides that go up to a point, a square base, a hexagon for a base. Could it have any different polygon on the base? And then the lateral faces, right, these, sides that go up to the point are all going to be triangles, okay? So there's a distinction here, um, and it's again hard to do on a flat piece of paper, but a difference between the height and the slant height, all right? So I've drawn in the height here. Basically the height is telling you how tall is the whole pyramid, right? From the flat bottom up to the top vertex, how tall is it, right? From the middle of the flat bottom here up to the vertex, how tall is your pyramid? That's the height. But there's a new term here called uh, slant height. So this is something that's new for pyramids, right? And that slant height is along the face. So here's a slant height from the middle of this side up along up to the vertex, right? Or I could draw a slant height in here from the middle of this side up along that face up to the vertex. And that slant height is really telling you how tall, what's the height of this triangle, right? If I just look at this flat triangle, there's the height of that triangle. Or here's the height of this triangular side over here, okay? So we're going to be using the slant height to find the area of this triangle, or the slant height to find the area of this triangle, all right? So I want you um, also to think about what the flat patterns for these would look like. Okay, flat patterns, right? Like if I unfold it and kind of flatten it out and look at all the pieces, we're gonna look at these like flowers, okay? The base is gonna be in the middle of the flower and your lateral faces are gonna be like petals that kind of peel down. So if I have here a pentagon for the base and I peel down each of these triangles and open it up like a flower, it would look like this, right? So this is a pentagonal pyramid because it has a pentagon for the base and it has six total faces, right? Five triangles here plus the base, six faces total. Or a square pyramid. Square for the base. If I pull down each of these petals, it would look like this as a flat pattern. And it has five faces total. Or a triangular pyramid. Triangle on the base. And then the triangular petals here, if I open them up to look like a flower, would look like this. Okay, our last vocab here is regular, a regular base shape. Regular in geometry means that all the sides are congruent. All the sides are the same length. This is really important for us because it means that all of these petals, so I'm going to say all the petals, right, all those triangles are going to be the same, which makes the problems a lot easier. Once I find, you know, the area of one of these triangles, here I would just multiply it by four. Or once I find one of these triangles, I would just multiply it by three because those are all going to be the same. Okay? So let's do some examples where we're finding the surface area of these. So I'm going to get my clean copy for us here. Let's start with square pyramids. Okay? All right. So we already said our square pyramids here would open up to look like a, a square in the middle with four petals around it. And that gives us five total faces. So when we're finding surface area, we're going to have five numbers to add up to get our total for these ones. Okay? So I like to write down, I like to write down capital B for the base. So let's find the area of this base here. Well, a square that's 10 times 10, I get 100 for that base. And then my triangles. Well, we already talked about how those four triangles are all going to be the same. So let's just look at one at a time. So here I have 10 for the base of my triangle, and here's that slant height that we talked about. So to find the area of these triangles, remember base times height divided by two, if you need to write that down, base times height divided by two for all your triangles here. So this would be 10 times 12 divided by two 
which I get is 60. And there are four of those. So four of those gives me 240. And I need to add my base and the four petals together, and I get 340. And units on it would be square feet. Okay. All right, let's come over here and do one that's not a flat pattern, but it's still a square pyramid. It still has a square base and some petals. So the base here is going to be 5 by 5. So that's an area of 25. Then each of these petals, if I'm looking at the petals here, this is a base of 5 and a height of 8. So all those triangles are going to be 5 times 8 divided by 2. So 40 divided by 2. And because it's a square, there are four petals. So that would be 80. And then I have to add my four petals and the base all together. And I get 105 and inches, square inches. Okay. All right, so you've got one more flat pattern here and one more... Uh, square pyramid. Find these two surface areas. Remember to show your work and then pause. Check when you're ready. Okay, here's my answers here. Let's look at it. The square base is 4 times 4, so that gave me 16. And then each of these triangles has a, um, a base of 4 and a height of 6. And there are four of those. And I added it up to get 64 what, centimeters squared. And then this one. The base is 11 times 11, or 121. And then each of these petals, right, is going to be 11 times 14. There's my base and my slant height, 11 times 14 divided by 2. So I got each one is 77. There are four of those petals. And then I add the base on, and I got a total surface area of 429 centimeters squared. Okay, so let's move on to triangular prisms. These are a little bit trickier just because the, the pictures look more complicated. But remember, for these, they just have a triangle for the base, and then they're going to have three petals, which gives us four total faces that we need to find and add up. Okay, so here's an example where I show you the, the triangular pyramid here, and it would look like this as a flat pattern. Okay, so here the base is shaded in the middle, and then the three petals opening up around the outside. So let's find that base first, right? Either one that's easier to look at. Looks like I have eight centimeters, and here the height of that, it's kind of going upside down, but the height would be 6.9. So let's show base times height divided by two, and I get that to be 27.6, 27.6, all right? Then we know our three petals are all going to be the same, but let's look at those. So again, here I have a base of eight, and again, same height for these triangles of 6.9. So base times height divided by two. All of these are 27.6. And now there are three petals, so I need to multiply this by three. And that gave me, what, 82.8? And then just make sure you add all four sides up. So three petals plus the base. If you add that together, I get 110.4 centimeters squared. Okay? I'll do a couple more because these ones are a little tricky to, to find all the numbers you need, all right? Okay, so let's do the base here. I'm going to do the base first. The base is this triangle, and when I'm looking at it, I see that I need to use this side length of 6 and this height, right? If I'm just looking at that flat base, there's my height of 5.2. So base times height divided by 2, and I get that this comes out to 15.6. You can check me. Pause to type this in and, and do it along with me if you need to. All right, and then I'm going to look at the all the petals. Right, so I have three petals that would come off of that base. And it looks like the petals have a base of 6, again, and a height of 10. So now if I'm looking at all the petals, the triangles, the lateral faces, 
6 times 10 divided by 2, those come out to an area of 30, and I can see that I have 3 of them. So times 3 is 90, and I would have to add my base and my lateral sides together, and I get 105.6 unit squared, feet squared. Okay. All right, and then I'll do one more. So see if you want to try this one. Um, you can pause it here. Again, we have a base. So I'm going to look at that base orange here. So the bottom side, it looks like, is 6. And then that base, the bottom, has a, tr a height of 7.8. Did I say 6? I meant 9. This is a base of 9 times 7.8, all divided by 2. And I get that that base is 35.1. Okay, so that's capital B. When we find the area of the base, capital B. Capital B is area of the base. Okay, and then I still have to find my petals or my lateral sides, lateral faces here. So again, this would be 9, and that looks like they're telling me I have a slant height here of 8. So all of my petals would be 9 times 8 divided by 2 which is 36. And I know because it's a triangular prism, I have three of those, which comes out to 108, okay? So here's my three petals, here's my base, and if I add those together, I'm gonna put my answer up here, I get an answer of 143.1 yards squared, okay? All right. So, you have three to do, nope, sorry, two. You have these two to do on the next page. So pause until you have these ones done. Okay, here's my work. You can check. I found the base, and then I found the triangular faces, right, the petals. There are three of those, and then a grand total. Okay, find the base, find the three petals here, add them all up for a grand total. Okay, so pause, make sure that's what you get, and then we'll move on to the last example. All right, you might see a few different kinds of questions here. So some other pyramids. I want to start with this one. This is one that has a, if I count them, one, two, three, four, five, six. It has a hexagon for a base, which is six sides, okay? So I don't know how to find the area of a hexagon, but they give it to me right here. So this is capital B. This is the area of the base that I need to use. That part's done, okay? All I need to worry about are these triangles. So I can find all of these triangles. 13 is the base there, and they tell me the slant height is 30. So let me find these triangles. 13 times 30 divided by 2. And I get that each of those petals, each of these lateral faces, would come out to 195. <clears throat> okay, check my math there. But then since I know it's a hexagon, and there are six faces, six lateral faces, six of these triangles, I'm just going to multiply it by six. And I get 1,170. So here's my six petals. Here's the area of my base. I'm just going to add those together. So here's what I get for an answer. Base, right, the one base, plus the six petals gave me this. Okay, we're going to um, take our last minute here to go over this one, okay? So this is a pyramid sitting on top of a rectangular prism. So you'll notice that you have four roof pieces, four triangles here, four walls, and one floor. So that's a total of nine different faces. So let's find our nine faces, okay? So the triangular roof pieces, looks like I have a base of eight and a height of nine. So I can find each of those. And then I have my walls. If I look at my walls, looks like those are eight by six. So each of those are 48. And then the floor, eight by eight, okay, so I've got four walls, four roof pieces, and the floor. Okay, so I added my four roof pieces, four walls, and the floor, and I got this. Pause here and find this one. 
This is just asking you to find the roof pieces. So it's just the triangular roof pieces. Do this and then come back and check when you're ready. So this is the lateral surface area.